Hey, welcome back to Betsy Hackle Beauty. Uh, today I'm gonna just play around with a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury makeup that I have. I did an unboxing of her holiday advent calendar probably like a month or so ago, I think it was in November. So I've just had like all this makeup and I've bought things like here and there, but I've never actually done just like a full face of Charlotte's products. So I thought today, you know, I have nothing else to do, so why not just play around with it? And if this is something that you like, please give that video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments kind of what your thoughts are as we go through if you see any favorite products or anything that you use personally that you would recommend to others and um, i'd love to hear it so starting with skincare from charlotte so this is her magic serum crystal elixir um it comes in two sizes either one ounce or 0.27 ounces this is 0.27 ounces it retails for 30 dollars for this size and i believe 80 dollars for the big size it has a four star review on Sephora. So we're gonna take this, and I don't know how to film this. Is this like weird? <laughs> so I'm gonna take just a little bit of it and kind of just rub it into my skin. It's a bit sticky. Like the more you rub it on, it gets like tacky almost. It doesn't have a great smell. It reminds me of school supplies. I know it's like a really weird thing, but you know like when you open a pencil case, that's what this smells like. But overall, it does dry down really nicely like my skin is very soft and smooth so not bad i just don't like the smell then we have charlotte's magic cream moisturizer so this is a very iconic moisturizer i pretty much everyone knows about this um if you don't here it is uh so this comes in three different sizes this is the 0.52 fluid ounces that retails for 30 dollars it's also one ounce for 64 dollars or 1.7 ounce for a hundred dollars. So this has a little bit over four stars on Sephora. It's a nice creamy texture. I probably should have brought something to scoop since I have nails. Oh well, we're just gonna be ratchet today. I personally use this on a lot of my wedding makeup clients. I just think it's luxurious and it also the clients, when you're using something like this, they just feel pampered and great and that is what i am there to do especially on someone's wedding day you know you just want them to be feeling good and that you're using the best of the best and it smells just so expensive <laughs> like it's it says i like it i think one time i watched a review of it i, I want to say it was one of raw beauty christie's reviews and she like smelled it and she's like just smells like money and that is the perfect way to put this it smells like money so while i wait for that to dry i'm actually going to prep my eye i'm taking the becca under eye brightening corrector and i am just patting that gently into my under eye area and like it already brightens it up so much this is something i've been trying out just a lot of different methods for my under eyes because they are just so dark and you know if you put on a lot of concealer and different things then it gets really cakey and it's just been a really big point of frustration for me. I've tried watching a lot of tutorials. Um, if anyone has anything that they think I should try please let me know in the comments because your girl needs some help. Next we have the Wonder Glow Soft Focus Face Primer. So this is the mini size is 15 milliliters. It is retailing for $25. It has a little bit over three stars on Sephora, but there's only eight reviews, so take it with a grain of salt. So the big size retails for $55. So we're going to take it out. Oh, interesting. So it's like a golden color. And it's kind of a, it's a very creamy, watery texture. So I'm going to just start rubbing this all over my skin. Going with the expensive theme here, this does smell like some shmanny. Am I glowing? Do I look any different? I have no idea. As you can see my skin, I have so many sunspots and everything. Wear sunscreen kids, take care of your skin. This next one has been one of my absolute favorites recently. This is her Magic Vanish Color Corrector. So it's in four different colors. Um, it retails for $32 and I am using shade medium which is peach for light medium skin tones and i had to go darker than the light one because it just wasn't dark enough for my dark circles so i've recently been using it with the becca um again this is her brightening under eye corrector um so that i just do to brighten but then i still have the darkness so that i've been using this to actually pat onto that darkness so i really really like this product big fan um 
It's very comparable to the Bobbi Brown under eye correctors. I have those as well. I do like this one better though because I feel like the Bobbi Brown one um, is a bit thicker, um, but I feel like it moves more, whereas this one will stay put and actually does the job of taking away the, the dark color. So I just put a little bit on my finger and then I just pat it, but I don't take it all the way up. One thing also with my eyes, I have sunken under eyes too. I don't know if you can see that where it kind of like dips in a bit. So it's just really hard for me to like totally, totally cover it. You know, you see a lot of girls on TikTok and so forth that just have flawless skin. They're showing you concealer hacks and so forth. A lot of those aren't gonna necessarily work for what my eyes are. Now for the Airbrush Flawless Longwear Foundation. For $44, it's one fluid ounce. Um, I do use this pretty often. I, I like it. I just sometimes think it might be a little yellow, the color I got for my skin tone. This is too cool. It's for fair skin with cool undertones. I do two pumps. I like full coverage, so it's kind of where I go with this. Um, so I'm taking it with the Rare Beauty Foundation Brush. Oh, also, I didn't even tell you guys the rating. So this has four stars on Sephora out of 1,200 reviews. Take it and just start Oh yeah, I forgot how full coverage this is. I haven't been using it super recently. So I'm gonna take it all the way. I'm gonna blend it. I think that I like to use is I start in the middle of my face and I blend outwards so that way you don't have like chunks of foundation on the outside that you then have to keep blending down. So you just start in the middle of your face and you buff outwards. And if you guys haven't tried this Rare Beauty foundation brush yet, absolutely go try it because it it's honestly one of my favorite foundation brushes i think i've ever used my light and it's very lightweight but it feels nice it doesn't feel cheapy this is a thicker foundation so it doesn't spread super easily um so if you do have dry areas or areas on your skin where foundation could catch i would be very careful with this and do it very lightly and build up and you can get like in a really sticky situation you get my drift <laughs> dad jokes okay take a beauty blender this is pretty um damp and i'm just gonna pat it in and i'm doing this with a more damp beauty blender just so if i do need to move around the foundation it, it's a little bit more manageable looking at it i did have to blend quite a bit down to my neck because i do think this is a little too yellow for my skin tone Maybe I need something a little bit more neutral. I don't know. Let me know. What do you guys think? Do you think this matches? Do you think I should go a different color? Any color suggestions? Hmm. We'll see. I do not have the Hollywood Flawless Filter Concealer from Charlotte. That retails for $44. Actually looks pretty similar to the one that I'm going to use, which is the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer. So this has um, four and a half stars out of 760 reviews. Take it. Just gonna put it right in the areas that we need it. Kind of like right here. Oop. Put it on the nose. Okay. Really need to. I have a one of those. Is it the Ricky Mews. One of those coming from Ulta. I'm very excited. Cause my little handheld mirror broke. But I do need one of those for my clients. Now I'm going to go in with the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Contour Duo. So this comes in two different shades. I have Fair Medium and there's also Medium Dark. This retails for $68, but I have a whole review on this. I love it. I'm obsessed. It's beautiful. I use it so frequently, like not even just on myself, but also on clients. And you, you can barely tell, like it still has the imprints of the little pattern and stuff. So I like to use this with the Sephora Pro Powder 59 brush. So this has four and a half stars out of 200 plus reviews. I have a very oval face. There's not much definition. This gives me beautiful definition. So we're gonna go in with the sculpt side. I just take it. And I like this smaller brush because you can be very precise with your application versus if you were gonna use a big fluffier bronzer brush. See, just take it right under. You can feel where your cheekbone is and I kind of do my contour a little bit on that and just below. And I also always take a little bit. I do the forehead area because my forehead takes up like half my face. 
Uh, if only, you know, like Rihanna, she can rock the big forehead. I feel like I can't, and it does make me sad. But I'm trying to love myself more with it. Day by day. So pretty. I just cannot get enough of this bronzer. Now we're gonna go in with her Cheek to Chick Blush. So this is shade Sex on Fire. She has nine different shades. This retails for $40, so it's, it's an expensive blush. It has four stars out of 185 reviews on Sephora. We have not worn this brush in a very long time, so I kind of forget what it looks like. So I'm using the It Cosmetics, the powder brush. Just kind of swirling it all in there. It says, tap it off. Starting higher on my cheekbone. Flicking, flicking it on. Forgot how much I actually like this blush. It's just really, really pretty soft color. And I also just did a, like a shorts video because YouTube has these little things called shorts. And I did it on how to do blush on an oval face shape. And I got a comment saying, I thought when blush that you were in oval face shapes, you're not supposed to put blush on the apples of your cheeks. It just kind of made me think, and no, no shade to, to that person at all, but it just made me think, you know, especially with TikTok and all these videos coming out and they're like, this is exactly how you do your makeup and so forth. All right, just do your makeup how you like to. There's so many different techniques and ways to do it out there. What one person says is not the Bible and all be all. Um, it, it's just what you want. Like there's a lot, there's theory behind makeup, absolutely. I will say that putting it higher on your cheekbones does make a huge difference for face shapes like mine. It gives it that lifted look. But I also like to put on the apples of my cheeks just because then when I smile, I feel like I get that little definition and it looks cute and adds a little bit more color to my face because I'm really pale. So like I'll always just do a little bit. Doesn't mean I do a ton on there, but you know, want to get a little bit of color. So just remember that when, when you are watching YouTube tutorials and videos, uh, don't take everything everyone says extremely literally. Like they have a great technique, a great way they're trying to show and help others. If that's the way that you like to do it, go for it, do it. But just don't think, you know, oh, I saw X, Y, Z person say a do and a don't, you have to do it this way. That's not necessarily true. So find what works for you. I'll step off my soapbox now. <laughs> Another thing that I do really like to do with blush, another technique is, especially if you have face shapes like mine, or if you just want to bring a little bit more color and dimension to your face, take it and take any excess and kind of bring it right above the brow bone. I find this just adds in a little bit more color to your face. Okay, we're back in the bronze and glow duo and we're going to now highlight our cheeks. So this is the It Cosmetics It Brushes for Ulta, the highlight brush. So I'm going to just take that, swipe it in, tap it off, and we're just going to take it right above the cheekbone. That's where I like to do my highlighter. Gently rub it on. I really love this highlighter because it's so soft and smooth and it doesn't look blaring like I have highlighter on. Cause I feel like a lot of highlighters nowadays were into the very super shocking shock factor. And sometimes you just want a really nice dewy glow. So we're gonna do a little bit on the nose. I like to do a little bit above my eyebrows. I've not done my eyebrows yet. I think it's just a really pretty glow. Charlotte also has her Hollywood. This is the Easy Light Wand. So I have tried using this on my cheeks a little bit. Um, it is kind of that round fuzzy applicator. It's really nice, but I think I need to apply it to a brush and then swipe it on my cheeks versus just putting it down because then it doesn't move very well and you can see like outlines of where you stamped it on. I personally really like using this, taking my finger and putting it in the inner corner of my eye but that's just how I've been using that. I gravitate more towards the powder highlight. So Charlotte does have what they call the Brow Lift Eyebrow Pencil. I do not have this. I gravitate more towards the ColourPop or the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz items more so than spending $30 for her brow pencil. It has four stars, 44 reviews. I honestly have never seen anyone use this. I'm sure it's great, lovely. I like my ColourPop one. It's like $6 and it works beautifully. Now into one of my favorite products from Charlotte. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. So this retails for $45. It comes in four different shades. This is one fair. 
So this has a little over four stars on Sephora out of 1200, almost 1300 reviews. So I always, always, always top off my makeup with this. I just think it looks beautiful on the skin. It's a very finely milled powder and it just, it's like velvet going on under your skin. I'm using JS1 Jeffree Star Morphe brush. I've had this forever. So I just pat it into my skin. I like using brushes that have more of a flat top for powders like this, um, especially a pressed powder, because it's something that you want to have sink into the skin. And then once you do the powder and stuff, because I know we did the highlighter already, you can always go back in a little bit, a little bit more of that zhuzh. If you feel the blush needs anything more, you can always go back on top. I don't have any of her iconic uh, little quad eyeshadows, but I did in my advent calendar get her, this is the color Chameleon, Chameleon? <laughs> Color Chameleon eyeshadow pencil. So I have it in Copper Lights. I think this was a more limited edition one for the purposes of the advent calendar because I don't see it on Sephora. It retails for $27 and it has a little over four stars um, out of 540 reviews. But I use this like underneath my eyes, but we're just gonna put it on, see how this goes. I'm just gonna kind of put it all over, smudge it out a little bit. So it really does not smudge that much. It's not playing very well with my MAC paint pot. Maybe my eye finger will be better. I put a little bit more on this side and I'm trying to just like wing it out a little bit and just smudge it. I like it, but it just looks like brown blood on my face. I think I know what I'm gonna do, okay. So we're gonna like wing this out just a tiny bit. I'm gonna bring it back over. This is looking hella crazy right now. Bear with me, people. Really don't like this for all of your lid. It's not looking good. It's not blending well. Just looks like garbage. I'm just mad now. Okay, so I do think I salvaged it a little bit. So I ended up putting the Beauty Light Wand on the eyelid over it. And then I took the bronzer and I just tried to diffuse it a little bit and make it softer and not as harsh. So I do think I'm okay with what we have. But these I would absolutely not recommend just using as eyeshadow. It does not smudge very well. Maybe on just like a bare eyelid, um, just with normal like skin oils and so forth. But with the MAC Paint Pot, this did not cooperate at all. So I'm now going to line my eyes with the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Eyeliner Pencil. So I also got this in the advent calendar along with a lot of other things. I don't know if I've said every single thing. Um, this is shade Barbella Brown. So this will be interesting because I pretty much exclusively wear very um, intense black eyeliner. I do the wing, everything. So um, I've never actually used brown, but I heard it's really nice. It gives it a softer look. It's not as meh, going on. So this retails for $27. It has four stars on Sephora out of 100 reviews. I'm like licking my eyes. I'm kind of digging it. Like, they look cool. I was not expecting that. So I also brought up, if I can find things, my Scott Barnes. This is his brush number 60. And I use this one for smudging out eyeliners because it has that nice angled tip. And I like that it's rounded and not just like a straight flat line. Waterline, but it's a very creamy texture. Really like it, it's very soft. Like you still get that definition. I'm gonna take the Scott Burns brush and take this just to smudge it out. Diffuse the product, make it a little bit more even. This is what I regularly use with my Marc Jacobs gel highlighter pens wing just ever so slightly so i just kind of put a little smudge there and then i take the brush it goes on very beautifully seriously these brushes are the freaking best getting that like defined wing line so we now just have a nice elongated smoked out wing i'm gonna take it a little bit along my waterline that oh, came out really messy i'm gonna take my smudge brush this is the ColourPop E28 smudge brush. Big thing when you're doing eyeliner on the top and the bottom, always try and make sure that you can get it to connect so it just looks very cohesive and it really gives that bold defined look. I'm liking it, feeling it, I'm digging it. Okay, 
really, really loving this right now. Then I'm gonna take just ever so slightly a dab of this, a little tiny bit on the inner corner. Really brightens up the eye area. Looks nice. Moving on to the mascara. We're almost there, people. Stay with me. So this is her Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. Retails for $29. I have the small mini size that came in the advent calendar. And there's two sizes. This is the mini one for $15. And then she has a larger one for $30. And I will say, the first time I opened this, I was very shocked at the applicator that I found because if you look at it, it's like flat. So you really can only use like the top portions. You just used to want applicators like this. So when I saw what I saw, I was like, mm, I don't know how I'm gonna like this. But I will say this gives me amazing length and curl with it. It has a little over four stars on Sephora out of 600 reviews. I also usually use it with um, my really dark eyeliner, so it'll be nice to see it with something a little bit more muted and subdued. I also got scared the first time I used this because I was like, oh, it just feels funky. It's a little like, harsh on your eyelashes but like it's already giving me really nice lift and the brush has the natural angle built in but like just look at that difference with just the mascara on it looks great it really does stay like when i use this my eyelashes don't feel heavy and dragged down they stay really nice lifted and curled like my lashes they look fantastic we have the super iconic Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner and Lipstick Duo. So this is the Lip Cheat. This is her uh, very iconic lip liner in shade Pillow Talk, which is a pink nude. It has almost five star reviews. So this retails for $22 for the full size. I don't know if I, I think I had the full size, but I've just done it down quite a bit. So we are gonna line our lips. It really is as velvety as they say. Now there are dupes for this out there at the drugstore. I know Milani has some very similar ones. I mean, $22 for a lip liner is pretty expensive, especially because I have not had this long and looking pretty used. So I can't imagine paying $22 over and over again for this, even though it's really good. And I've done a lot of times just the lip liner and then I take one of her glosses and just gloss right over it and it looks great. And this is the Matte Revolution Lipstick in shade Pillow Talk. So this retails for $34. It has almost four and a half stars with 430 reviews. I do really, really like this formula. I'm a big fan. I've been using it frequently on all of my Zoom calls. I think it's a gorgeous nude. It's very universally flattering. I've seen on a lot of different skin tones. So I really think this one looks great. So I'm just gonna take it. My lips are a bit dry, so pardon that. But it's just the color, like, it's so pretty. I love it. It goes with the rest of the makeup, everything. Just chef's kiss. One of my other favorite things that I just bought on my own because I really liked it is her this is the Superstar Lips Lipstick for the Pillow Talk collection, and this one is Pillow Talk Diamond, so it's just a sheer pink with glitter shine. I love, freaking love this. Like, hi, that is stunning. So I love to use this as just a topper for my lipsticks, and I honestly just wear it on its own because it's just so freaking pretty. So when I do it, I take it, just kind of start in the middle, Work my way out. It just gives it some oomph. It's got those gold, um, gold pink peach iridescent sparkles in it. And just look, so pretty, so fun. I just, I freaking love it. So as you can tell, <laughs> only downside is this retails for $34 and it is very small, but it's very beautiful. In my opinion, it's worth it. That makes my lips just feel buttery smooth, especially if they have cracked lips. Like, you can barely tell. I think you can barely tell. Let me check. Now that I have that, you can barely tell. 
And last but not least, we have the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So this is, I have the mini size, which is 1.1 fluid ounces, retails for $20. Or you can get 3.3 fluid ounces, which retails for $35. So obviously better deal right there. So this has almost five stars out of 500 reviews. So Urban Decay giving you a run for your money. So it also says that you need to hold six to eight inches away and mist over entire face before and after applying makeup. So miss that one there. Let's see about after. Oh, it smells really good. I like that. It's like a fresh, um, reminds me of candy necklaces. That's it. I like that smell. It smells good. So that's really it. That's all the Charlotte Tilbury makeup that I have. I do think with what I have though, we made a pretty bomb look and I am digging it. And it, it's just fun to see when you use like eyeliners and different colors and things than what you normally use. And you're like, oh damn, I'm looking good. But I really, really like this. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. What are your favorite parts of the look? If you have used these products and you have any other shades or suggestions, also, definitely let me know because I'm always buying makeup. So why not pick up some more and add to the collection? So if you guys did like this video, please comment, like, uh, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more fun content. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. And as always, this is Betsy Hackle Beauty, and I hope you all have a wonderful holiday.